Hello and thank you for joining me again on Run Level Zero. I really enjoy hearing from you, the viewers. Uh, you guys have given me so much food for thought over the, since I've started this channel. The, the comments that you leave, you know, the Linux community is such an awesome one. We represent individuals from diverse backgrounds, varying levels of experiences, and you've asked questions and made comments that have really given me lots of food for thought. About a week ago, one of my regular viewers, Mr. Garth Davison, uh, he asked a question that's really made me think. He said, I want to pose a question, and it's a Linux one. If we were to lose one desktop environment, what should we drop? Linux has become too candy store, so let's think about trimming. So this has really made me think. You know, having a choice of desktop environments is one of those things that makes Linux great. Your experience with a Linux uh, desktop or distribution is going to be influenced by a variety of factors. So when you install a new Linux distro, your experience with that distro is going to be influenced and affected by, well, what, what the, the distro is based on, the core system. Uh, that's going to affect the kernels, the drivers, what applications are available, how it handles updates. But as far as your actual user experience, you're going to be more greatly affected by the choice of desktop environment that's installed on that distro. That's going to affect your overall feel of that distribution. So this this is a choice that, that can really be foreign to many new users to Linux. Because, it, let's face it, if you're new to Linux, you're coming over from another OS, those other OSs, you basically get what they give you. You don't have a choice. Whereas in Linux, if you run into a, a desktop environment you don't like, you can chuck it and get a new one. Uh, there's plenty to choose from. You can even install multiple desktop environments on a single system. You do have to be careful with that though because you can bog the system down and some desktop environments don't really play nice with each other. But you can do it. So this this thought reminded me of a distribution I saw a while back and I've played with it before. I want to show it to you today. So today we're actually going to take a look at Hybrid Fusion 13.04 this Linux distribution is based on Kubuntu, that's with a K, the KDE version of Ubuntu 13.04. And from their desktop, they say hybrid is a conceptual work to discover different desktop environments. Uh, the better way to use and play with it is the live session on USB support. So they actually recommend that you use it live. You can install it, there is an installer. And they, but they say they absolutely not recommend install Hybrid Fusion 13.04, basically if you don't know what you're doing. I did install it. I'm, I'm running it in a virtual, as usual. Two gigabytes of RAM, two dedicated processors. I did install it, and there are a couple of minor bugs that come into play um, with it installed to the hard drive. Nothing major. But because it is what the developer recommends, this review is going to be based on a live session. The live session I found to be very snappy, very responsive, and just a joy to work with. Now, what makes hybrid unique, there, there are several unique factors about hybrid. They handle multiple desktop environments in a unique way, as you're going to see. And not only that, they've also developed their own desktop environment the HYD V1 which I believe stands for hybrid desktop version 1 this is a neat little desktop and we're gonna start there so let's go down and pull up hybrid this is hybrid fusion 13.04 this is the HYD V1 desktop so we're gonna start with a tour of their native environment you get two panels. Across the top is going to be your notification area, as well as your volume control and network manager. You get a panel along the bottom. Now if you look in the lower left, 
and lower right corners there are toggles. We're going to come back to those in a moment. In the lower right corner you have your clock. Beginning in the lower left is the application menu. Now we're not going to go through every application installed on here but the the the, the software installed rec represents rather the base software installations that come with the various desktop environments. There is a mixture of QT and GTK applications and it, it, it they've managed the bloat fairly well. They've kept only what was necessary for the various desktop environments to run and all the bases are covered. Now if you do choose to install hybrid, you go to the accessories menu and that's where you're going to launch the installer from. But as far as the important stuff that's installed, you do have a variety of terminal emulators to choose from. Uh, let's come back over to it. I just clicked out of it accidentally. Under graphics, the GIMP is installed as well as uh, I have mate image viewer of course you have image magic and a, and a PDF viewer let's see here for internet chromium firefox reconk and midori are is installed the entire LibreOffice suite is installed and you'll find that under the office menu and under sound and video Brassero, K3B, Audacious, VLC, Rhythmbox, all the the usual players are there. We're not really talking about uh, applications though. One thing I do want to show you while we're in the menu, in the lower left corner of your bottom bar, you're going to see a little toggle. If you hit that toggle, it'll open up a quick launch menu. If you go back to the applications menu and pick an application next to all the applications you'll see a little plus symbol if you click that plus symbol it will add it to your quick launch bar to remove an application from quick launch simply right click the icon and it'll pull it out to close that quick launch just click the toggle again easy okay we're gonna skip the hybrid menu for a moment we're gonna come back to that Magic. This is inter this is an interesting menu system. Clicking on Magic will pull up a full screen display with a clock and calendar. You'll have three buttons along the bottom: Apps, Sys, and Close. This and let me point out this desktop has some pretty smooth, minimal but smooth and beautiful visual effects as well. Uh, clicking on the Apps button will pull open an icon driven application menu. So if you hover over the icon it will tell you what the subcategory is above. Clicking on the icon will pull open a sub menu where you can access the various applications. It is searchable so if I type in system it will return the results underneath. To close this menu simply click the close button. It's a very smooth very beautiful uh, uh, application this magic menu. Clicking on Sys will pull open a system monitor. Very nice real-time monitoring your CPUs, your RAM and, and your uh, system resources. Clicking close will take you out of that as well and clicking the close button will close the magic menu. The toggle on the lower right hand uh, side of the screen will pull open a quick launch or a quick application to your home folder and your trash so if you pull open downloads it'll open your uh, file manager across the bottom you will have access to your background management allow you to change your wallpaper and manage your themes you can also pull open the apps manager in a standalone here and you can pull open system information here. So there, this is a uh, information 
that will launch every time you, you open up the live environment this will open up so let's close that back now what really makes hybrid special apart from a, a, a neat desktop interface here the hybrid menu pulling open the hybrid menu you'll be able to choose a desktop environment and switch this is also where you're going to log out reboot restart and hit some options from here as well but they've installed all of these desktop environments and you have all of these to choose from let's see you have E17 GNOME 3 GNOME 2 KDE LXDE OpenBox Unity FVWM XFCE MATE and cinnamon and folks let's let's pick one let's go with unity clicking on any one of these desktop environments will launch that desktop environments it will switch your session over to that desktop environment and this is a full up running of that DTE now one thing I need to point out you're gonna get this little icon over here whenever you launch the desktop environment so I mean, this is a full up, full featured, functioning desktop environment. Let's pull open Firefox right quick. It's first run, so it's going to take it just a moment to load. There we go. And we're going to pull this open and we're going to leave Firefox up because I want to show you something pretty cool. So you come in, you play with your desktop environment, you want to leave and try something else. Clicking this icon will take you back to the hybrid fusion desktop okay now this is just the one little bug that I, I found here is when, whenever you switch back to the hybrid desktop your little wing panels come open but that's that's not uh, that's not a big deal to to close hmm let me pull open Firefox one more time it's supposed to keep your applications open when switching desktops but I think you may actually have to launch the application on the hybrid desktop for that to work so we're going to try that again let's switch over and let's take a look at GNOME 2 there we go you see it kept is keeping the Firefox open for us so that is actually pretty cool we're going to leave that Firefox open but you can see we have a full functioning GNOME 2 uh, desktop going on here so click your little icon and it will leave Firefox stays open and this time let's check out uh, FVWM uh, looks like it may have hung up on me there I might be filling up the RAM so there are looks like there are limitations as far as okay there we go no I'm not either I spoke too soon it just took it a minute to, to load it up my apologies I'm glad to see that so you have FVWM and again Firefox stayed open click your little icon to take you back so this is a very interesting uh, distribution. I am really impressed by this. I've I've not seen anything like this before. Even their their uh, custom desktop environment. What do you folks think? I mean, if if you're new to Linux, you definitely want to start out with with a, a safe desktop environment. You know, something like Zorin or Ubuntu just to get your feet wet in Linux and find out what Linux is but then when you're ready to start stretching out and you want to test different desktop environments and see which ones you like or if you're kinda of like me you like having multiple environments you know but you don't want to constantly reinstall your system or bog it down with having too many things installed at once I mean this is a this is an interesting concept being able to say oh I'm bored with uh, KDE today I want to try cinnamon just being able to switch in real time you know that that that's a novel approach and 
I don't know if if you want to try out the different desktop environments you're, you're going to run into some that you love you're going to run into some that you loathe if you don't if you don't know what's out there and you want to get a good representation of what's available I mean give hybrid fusion a try I mean you can't go wrong you can test out the different desktops side by side see what they're like see which one's your favorite this is I, I like this distribution this is a lot of fun I don't know that I would recommend it for production environment but you know it's been very stable for me it hasn't crashed so if you want to install it and use it at home go for it the only real bug that I noticed uh, having it installed and let's kick off open box here the only real bug that I noticed having it installed to the hard drive was your little go back button did not always appear so th there are a couple of minor bugs but they are minor I, I notice that even if that little go back button doesn't appear in many cases you can just log out of that desktop and it would take you right back here to the fusion desktop so yeah give it a try let me know what you think now I have a question for you folks before we sign off where did I go here we go this is my question and I want to pick up mr. Davison's question here so give hybrid a try if you're new test out the different desktops and especially if you've been using Linux for a while I want to carry on Gar's question if we were to lose one desktop environment what should we drop now that's the question this is the rule let's see you're not allowed to comment on others just make your case all you can do is be positive about others choices so there's not going to be any bashing that's you know this this that's one of the beauties about Linux you if you disagree with somebody if you don't like their choice you don't have to take their choice if you don't like somebody's desktop environment pick another one uh, there's no wrong answer here this is all just personal opinion um, so yeah be nice state your case what desktop environment would you get rid of today if we had to get rid of one and why uh, I would also like to hear from you on what is your favorite desktop environment and why so if, if you had to had to choose one to save if they're all on the chopping block today and you had to pick one desktop environment which one would that be so which one would you lose which one would you keep well thank you for joining me I've had a lot of fun with hybrid give it a try and uh, I hope to be with you soon for another video